guys, it's Alice and today I thought I would have a cozy little reading evening and make a little reading vlog because I feel like it's been ages since I made one of these and this time of year is the perfect time to do these things and I'm really excited about the book I'm currently reading. So yeah, we're just gonna get cozy and read and talk about books and have a good time. The book that I'm reading is Troy by Stephen Fry. I say reading, I've only read like a tiny bit in it, but this is one of my most anticipated releases of the year and I'm so excited about this book. I loved both Mythos and Heroes by Stephen Fry and this one is obviously about Troy, which I don't know a whole lot about, so I'm very excited about this book. I also love that this is like a naked hardback and it's really pretty and the end papers are like a timeline of I guess the ancient Greeks or I don't really know but it's like from 3000 BC to 44 BC and I'm assuming <laughs> Troy appears somewhere on that timeline. This book also has like parts like this and I don't think that the other two books by Fry had this, but I mean, I love looking at old art, very specific, but I like having stuff like that in books, so I'm excited about that too. I am also going to make dinner in a little while. It's like three o'clock now and it's already getting dark, so this might be a dark vlog, but it's just what it is in this part of the world in winter. It's just what life is. But first, I thought we could make a cup of hot chocolate. And I want to show you my advent calendar, which is amazing. So I really treated myself this year and I got this amazing hot chocolate advent calendar from Wittered. You guys may know that I love hot chocolate and I really like Wittered hot chocolate. So when I saw this, I just got it because I could not resist. And I am aware that this says it's a hot chocolate calendar for two, but you know, I just, I couldn't resist when I saw this. Obviously the design alone on this is absolutely incredible. And when you open it up, it looks like this. So the way this works is very simple. In each one of these drawers, there are two packets of hot chocolate because this is supposed to be for two people, but I'm just one person. So I have had like one packet from the first, the second, and the third, and today is the fourth. So I'm gonna drink the fourth one today, I think, but I can show you what's in the other ones because I only took out one packet in each. In the first one, we have luxury hot chocolate. This is like the regular one and it's really good. I really enjoyed that. And then the second drawer is here. In this one, it had white hot chocolate. This is one of my favorites. I love this one. I think it's so good. It's very sweet, but very good. And then was in number three too? If I can find it, am I blind? Yes, I am. Oh, here it is. In this one, it had salted caramel hot chocolate, which is also really, really good. I haven't peeked in the other ones, so we'll see. In this one, I haven't been in here yet. Ooh, today we have got, if I can get it out, we have got strawberry white hot chocolate. And I've actually, I haven't tried this one. This one says it's white chocolate with the flavor of summer sweet strawberries. So it's not like <laughs> absolutely perfect for winter maybe, I don't really know. But I'm gonna give this a go because I haven't tried it and I do like strawberries. I think I'm gonna go make myself a cup of this and then I'm gonna start reading. I really do love this advent calendar. It brings me so much joy. I love hot chocolate and honestly, just like the design of this is incredible. I could look at this all day. So I made myself a cup of hot chocolate, but it's way too hot, so I'm gonna have to let it cool off for like five minutes before I try it. So I don't know what it tastes like yet, but 
it does smell really good so I am ready to start reading but I'm going to light a scented candle and I got these amazing candles that I just have to show you. I ordered these two candles from Alchemy and Ink, which I follow on Instagram. And I think she's like a one woman show and her candles are sold out all the time. And she said that she was gonna have like a restock and I've been lusting over these candles for like, at least since the beginning of the year. So when she did a restock, I was like, okay, I'm gonna try to get some. I swear to God, everything on that website was like sold out within five minutes. Totally crazy. But I managed to order two candles and it's these ones. First of all, they're beautiful. They're very like autumnal, but I'm just gonna light them now because I like autumn all year round. <laughs> the ones that I got were Book Witch and Haunted Library. And Book Witch smells like toasted pumpkin latte. And this smells really, really nice. I've actually never had a pumpkin latte, so I don't know what that's supposed to smell like, but whatever this is smells really good. But this one smells absolutely amazing. It says it's bourbon and dark oud. Mm, uh, that's probably wrong, but this one smells amazing. It smells, it is like an autumn candle, but also like a wintry one, I feel. So I am going to burn this because it just, honestly, it's one of those candles that I kind of don't want to burn because I want to save it, but then I just save it forever and never use it. So I'm going to start this, but like when I run out of this, I'm gonna need to get another one, I already know. It's always really cool to find like great stuff from little independent shops. And when this girl does another restock, I'm gonna lose all my money. I just know it. So it's been a little while now and I have forgotten to update you, but I've had dinner now. I ate mac and cheese, which was really good, very like comforting food, I feel. And I have been reading a little bit in this as well. I haven't read a lot because I got a phone call that took a while and I just got a little bit distracted, but so far this is pretty good. I'm not very far into it like at all but it's very much like, if you've read Mythos or Heroes, this is very much like in the same vein. The writing style is the same and it's very readable and entertaining. There are a lot of names, but you don't really need to remember any of them, which is really nice. And yeah, I'm reading about like the, the founding of Troy, like the city and the, dynasty and the family that founded it and all of that good stuff, which is pretty interesting. I forgot to mention earlier, but there is also a map in the beginning here, as well as like a timeline and like a tree, family tree thing of the Greek gods, which I find very helpful. I just really like looking at maps for some reason. Like I know what Greece looks like, but just having maps and books just makes me really happy. I don't really have any more thoughts than that so far. I'm gonna try and actually like read a good chunk in this now though, like actually sit for a longer period of time and just read and try to not get distracted by like my phone. <laughs> and I'm gonna like get some Christmas cookies that I've got and put them on a little plate and eat them and just try to actually read. I don't really know, but I'm in one of those moods where I'm like very easily distracted, but I also want to read. So I'm going to try to actually like focus now. <laughs>
right, so it's been maybe like a couple of hours and I have managed to read quite a lot in this. I'm really enjoying it. It's very much like what I expected and I mean that in the best possible way. I guess I didn't really say this, but if you haven't read the other books by Stephen Fry, Mythos and Heroes, you may not know that these books like focus very much on the myth surrounding whatever it's talking about. So this isn't like a history book, like straight up history. It focuses much more on the myths surrounding the legend of Troy. That's like what I'm most interested in. So this is great. It does refer quite a lot to mythos and heroes. Like sometimes there will be a name and then there will be a little footnote that says like, see this in this page of mythos or heroes. I don't think you need to have read those books to read this. Like, I have read both of those books. I don't really remember any of, like, the names. I remember some of the stuff, but not all of it. And I think that that doesn't really matter when it comes to reading this. You can read this without having read those two books. That being said, though, those books are really, really good, too. Mythos is my favorite. Like, the first one is just, like the best one, I feel. I don't know why, I just think that that book was amazing. One thing to note about these books though is that I would highly, highly recommend, if you're gonna read them, to read the footnotes along the way because there are a lot of like funny things in the footnotes. They're especially hilarious in Mythos. In both Heroes and this one, it is a little more it sort of refers back to mythos and stuff like that, but like in the first one, the footnotes are hilarious. This is a pretty thick book and it feels like I haven't made that much progress, but I have read just shy of a hundred pages, which means I'm about a fourth of the way through, which I feel like is not bad for just one evening and one very like distracted evening as well. I feel like that's I'm happy with that. I am getting really sleepy now though, so I am going to take this book with me to bed and then maybe read a little bit more and then I am going to sleep and I can't wait. <laughs> there is a saying in Norwegian that goes Søtter en søt er sovende man er trøtt, which basically means like there's nothing sweeter than sleeping when you're tired and that's exactly what I'm gonna do right now. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog. I would love to know what you guys are currently reading. And if you have an advent calendar, what is it and how has it been so far? I would love to know. And I will see you soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.